Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Para Ice. This is, in my opinion, the most innovative Observation Duty game ever made. The developer is really trying to make this the craziest Observation Duty game out there. He has added uh, new maps, he's adding new maps constantly, and he's now also added a custom mode. There's a shuffle mode, there's a leaderboard in this game. There are so many things that make this game highly replayable. And obviously you also got a bunch of crazy anomalies. On top of that, you also have a shop with with no premium currency. This is a currency you only get by uh, playing the game and reporting anomalies, which allows you to unlock even crazier anomalies. So yeah, there's a lot of cool ideas here and I'm really excited to see this game grow even more. And we're gonna check out the new update with the new map, but I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Now let's hop into the game, let's go. Here we go. This is the new map, Asylum. We can only start on easy, so we'll start on easy. Let's just first do a complete completely non-modified run without any like challenges there's also the lights out challenge which we can try uh once we unlock the next difficulty maybe uh but first of all we need to get familiar with the map and what's going on in this one we have four cameras and 37 anomalies should be okay let's see we have the entrance now we already got a little sneak peek of this a while ago i was playing shuffle mode and what the dev did is that in the shuffle mode he added a random chance to get some of these cameras but we're gonna have to pay attention again we have a cross right here we have boxes we have trash we have a fan we have a painting check all right we got uh, another painting uh very normal looking paintings unlike most observation duty games we got a bunch of pills uh, the way you report things in this game, by the way, is by right-clicking it. That's it. Uh, and this mechanic of right-clicking and reporting that way uh, uh, is so cool that the dev of the original I'm on Observation Duty game has added it in I'm on Observation Duty 6 as the way to report. So yeah, uh, it's already a very influential game. It's already influential, influenced the new Observation Duty. Uh, which we will be playing again by the way we're going to play more observation duty 6 because they're adding a hard mode for that game because the only thing in observation duty 6 that was kind of unfortunate for me personally was that it was too easy so i'm very excited to see the dev making it harder uh what is going on here though uh are we missing any anomalies i think this was already there but i'm just going to report it uh there's a life source right there just appeared that's easy peasy uh how long okay so that was 40 minutes i think there's probably another anomaly as well now as you can see down here we have a sanity bar unlike the classic way of dying in most observation duty games where oh there's too many anomalies you die in this one you die gradually your sanity will go down the longer anomalies are active um so if you can spot the anomalies quickly you will preserve your sanity which leads to this really exciting like uh uh research man I mean, you can't really get it back but it's just like it, it adds like a, a time pressure that that leads to some really exciting moments for example last time we played i somehow managed to survive with one percent sanity remaining for the for the last two entire hours of the mission which was pretty wild um yeah there's no penalty for reporting a lot are we missing anything i feel like we must be missing something or maybe it's just kind of chill uh was there something on this the one HP strat was a little wild. Uh, we got a normal looking phone. We got a bunch of papers. Now, what are they doing in this asylum, though? We have a red equals scary over there. Uh, this kind of looks like Sunny Meadows. Um, there was this one observation. Oh, there's a floating table. I'm assuming that's not supposed to be there. Um, there was this one observation duty game that I don't think has gotten any updates since that basically put maps from phasmophobia in their observation duty game uh and they also had like emf and stuff like that it was a very interesting game that i i think it wasn't there also an easter egg like my face was in the game that was that was weird <laughs> i didn't know that when i first started playing that game so i just got jump scared by my own face that was amazing all right uh i think we got everything under control we have four chairs right there uh we, we just it's just a numbers game over here we got two things two buckets and a little step ladder um uh we have this is supposed to be open right that's gonna be definitely trolling a lot of people here the crucifix is still there we got a trash bag towels boxes we're good <coughs> it's just trying to stay hydrated and i get jump scared by a floating bed <laughs> go back down there you go what that's also really cool about this game unlike 
a lot of observation duty games where the way the anomalies are fixed is by just like giving you a black screen and then the anomalies are fixed in this one there's actually animations of them disappearing finally we know a little bit about how the anomalies disappear uh which is unique is it was there a rug here because i was thinking about that as well oh yeah you're totally right nice <laughs> Thank you. All right. Rug at the entrance. I feel like there's also... Wasn't there something over here or is that not it? No. All right. We already got four anomalies. You can see it over here. Uh, which this is that currency I was talking about, by the way. The anomaly currency that you get anomaly packs for. Nothing going wrong. Oh, there's a light switch. Never mind. There is something going wrong. There was... Or is this a light switch? I meant uh, ghost orbs. We got two ghost orbs in this room. Must be a mare. Oh, <laughs> Hi there. It's a tiny wheelchair, dude. For a tiny person. It's a baby wheelchair. That's sad. I hope they don't sell sell a lot of those. <laughs> that would be depressing. There's a clock here? Oh, you're right. All right. That, that actually causes 10% sanity, but we're totally fine. Thank you, chat. The crucifix is gone? The crucifix is still there. The cross in the... Was there a cross over here? There was a cross over there. Thank you very much. Exit sign is gone. Yes, you're right. Easy peasy. What the hell is this tiny bed? <laughs> what the hell? How are we supposed to sleep in the tiny bed? <laughs> Just pass back. The tiny bed. 2D bed. We made it. But yeah, just that was the easiest thing in my life. We lost 10% sanity. Let's go. Alrighty, good stuff. So that was only 11 anomalies. Uh, I missed the garbage bag anomaly. Okay, look at that. By the way, I got 1,700 anomalies reported. You think that's a lot? Look at the leaderboard. 6,000, you fucking crazy person. <laughs> the leaderboard is like... <laughs> the leaderboard is cracked, man. Okay, well, that was easy mode. Now we're gonna go, uh, by the way, they also added a custom mode, which we might mess with, mess with at some point. Now we're gonna do normal mode, which add an additional camera and doubles the anomaly spawn rate. Now, what I also need to make sure is that I enable, I forgot to do that. We are enabling our shadow and arachnophobia pack. Uh, so we will be getting those anomalies as well. Let's see what the new camera is. New camera is the hydrotherapy room. Why are there... You're stuck in the bathtub. This doesn't seem like it's therapy. This seems like it's torture. And then this is what I like about the, like they tell a little story with each of these maps because every time you unlock a new uh, new camera, it tells a little bit, it, it shows you a darker side of the asylum. So once we get hard mode, you're gonna see probably an even more fucked up one. And then on insanity mode, I can only imagine what kind of stuff goes on there. Um, now we will be seeing twice as many anomalies here. So let's let's look at this. We got some weird pill or uh, syringe thingy. We got a clipboard. We got two towels, which I or four towels actually. We got the the quadro towers. We got or towels. We got one pill bottle, which is supposed to be there. Make sure that that never leaves. And then we have um, the wheelchair, obviously. So that's it. Easy peasy. And was this always there? I don't think they're going to electroshock you in here. I think they're literally just trying to wash someone. This seems like it's in the worst possible spot. I guess you could sit here. Exit sign is already gone. All right, you're right. Thank you. I should really pay attention because the anomalies are going to go way faster. The cross is still here. Everything is still there. Uh, clock. Hills. We have a floating bed. <laughs> That's probably not supposed to be there. All right, good stuff. And we're back to back to equilibrium. Oh, this is open. Hi there. You thought you could hide that from me? Not on my watch. Put that back in. No anomalies. Syringe? The syringe is missing. Dude, you guys are insane at this. Thank you. Literally, they don't stand a chance with you guys on the loose. There's something missing right here. Nope. Oh, there are no anomaly fun. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Hello, sir. There's a shadow in the bathtub. See, that's the part of my anomaly pack. This wouldn't be here if it wasn't for... Oh, bye. If it wasn't for the shadow anomalies. I hope they have more anomaly packs because I have so many of those... Uh, I don't know what you call this. Ghost in a jar points. And I never get to use any of them. 
you can do the thing that you do in observation duties where you like uh um you keep an anomaly active oh wait, wait we're losing sanity help ah uh, there's a rotating crucifix <laughs> nice okay was that it there's also a ghost orbs okay uh so the the nice part about this system is that every now and then you get like a little notification of you're missing the anomalies which is way more it leads to some really stressful cool moments and it's also way more helpful than the one warning you get on in an observation duty game like a most observation duty game you get one warning that's like there's too many anomalies spot them right now or you die and even if you recover from that after that you never get a warning again uh but in this one you get warnings like every now and then naturally using the sanity system which by the way the sanity system used to be that at any point you were draining sanity it would like do a heartbeat and show you that you were losing sanity but then based on our suggestions he improved the system in my opinion by making it notched like this so that you wouldn't constantly know that something is draining your sanity you would only know it every 10 percent, which made it way more like uh it made it way less op the fan is missing the fan is missing dude that's a sneaky anomaly well done hi <laughs> Jesus, that was actually terrifying. Dude, that's a that's a cursed smile right there. Big smile. Hey, that's also kind of a creepy, creepy painting, in its own way. Extra cup. Big cup. <laughs> Big cup, dude. Holy shit. That's massive. <laughs> Got, wait, 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 I thought I saw a spider here, but no, there's no spider. That's a very big cup. Uh, hi there. <laughs> Why is everything getting big? Calm down. You don't need that big of an ashtray. You gotta stop smoking anyway. You're way too hot right now. It is way too hot, for sure. If you're still starting to smoke in current year, I'm sorry, but you are just stupid <laughs> like i i can forgive people like old people that started to smoke a long time ago but if you start smoking in 2023 i don't know what you're doing besides like maybe you're maybe it's like the most convolution or the most convoluted way of like committing self-harm which in which case I'm sorry for you, but like, come on, man. You know the dangers at this point. Like there was time in human history where people didn't even know that it was bad, where they were literally like assuming they, they were like ads that said it was good for your health and stuff. Uh, like in that time, if you started smoking, like I can totally understand. But nowadays, Especially with all the like friction that's built into the society with like people not being able to smoke basically anywhere I don't know if it's different in other places But here you you need to go into like the naughty corner to be able to smoke something you're like you're 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 not allowed to do that anywhere Missing cross missing cross. Thank you very much Have I played red dead redemption I played I did like one hour long stream of Red Dead Redemption and then I realized that playing that, that was back when I had a worse computer so it just completely destroyed my stream and I was like oh then we're not doing that again and then I've never tried it again this it looks like a fun game though I never played it either never never played the never played the game at all yeah vapes are not better by the way don't get it twisted don't sit there oh that's missing don't sit there. Oh, no, it's moved over there and be like, yeah, tell him. Tell him, dude. Tell him that smoking is stupid. I vape instead. No, you're equally dumb. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe not equally dumb, but you're. Maybe you're not as dumb, but you're definitely more pathetic overall. Oh, maybe not more pathetic, but I don't think it's a real. I don't think it's a competition of being pathetic. I think you're. <laughs> Like, I just don't get it. Like, I get people are so, like, stimulation... Like, with the rise of TikTok and, like, 
everything being like a hundred percent like stimulation all the time like subway surfers on three different sides of the screen like i guess vaping is something similar where people just constantly look for some kind of tick and some kind of form of stimulation and people just look for addiction i guess for some reason like i just i just don't get it why would you do that to yourself it's like there's there's vapes i think that don't have any nicotine in there but almost all vapes at least when they first came to the market had nicotine in there because that's the whole business model the business model is addiction they sell you addiction so that they can it's like the most fucked up printer machine of all time like you know how printers are a scam because they sell you a printer for like 20 bucks and then they you have to buy freaking printer ink cartridges for the rest of your fucking life that cost like 50 bucks bucks per ink cartridge and they are like they have like 20 milliliters of ink in there so you have to replace them every fucking week it's it's disgusting that's that's what vaping does to you <laughs> you're like you're equally as as scam they're just trying to get you addicted to a product so they can keep selling it to you which i guess if we're gonna go full uh existential crisis mode i guess you could say that's almost everything in life the cross is missing by the way um like i guess you could say that youtube netflix any entertainment is a similar wait what there's still something missing oh there's a floating wheelchair but it's not a chemical addiction like a, a mental addiction is obviously like being addicted to games which i have been plenty of times in my life um it's a different type of addiction than a chemical addiction because in my experience it's easier to get rid of it for my own there weren't there papers over there no although i've never had a chemical addiction so i can't really oh, excuse me hi there sir <laughs> there's a doctor is he gonna look around he's just gonna stand there oh hi what the fuck okay <laughs> <laughs> oh boy all right the, the slow turn into the jump scare i fucking called it <laughs> he's like don't smoke kids <laughs> or i'm coming for you he is evil the fan is missing i think no we already got that one but yeah there is like obviously Wait, we're actually just easily beating this. I wasn't even paying attention, but we have <laughs> we have beaten the game. Five more minutes and we're done. That was our first actual like. I mean, I guess we got the shadow guy in the toilet as well. Uh, now it's I guess we're tired. It's time for hard mode. Easy peasy. Yep, twenty anomalies. We missed a rug. Oh come on. Um, now it is time for not shuffle hard mode which add an additional camera and three times anomaly spawn raid right this time so that should be another 50 percent anomalies how many 62 anomalies total um oh baby i told you <laughs> i told you that was gonna be an isolation cell sanity sanity keep sanity sanity please come back why me help me am i crazy i i mean obviously anomalies wait a minute Maybe I'm crazy because I know the dev of this game has uh, a storyline planned in the future. Like he he is just adding maps now that are like telling stories and he's eventually going to like add an overarching story. We got a toilet here, which is disgusting. We have a book, clipboard, uh, prayer beads thingy, uh, some, some more pills. We got a weird, creepy, smiley face. Watch the cameras. Wait, this is way too specific to me. Watch the cameras. Left me. They left me. They left me. W wake me up. Anomalies. I saw. Oh, hi there. What the fuck? Doctor. Before you go. Oh, no. He's going to jump scares again. Doctor. What the fuck? <laughs> this is, he does the same thing every time dude okay okay we need to be a little bit more now now we can actually just play the the game like we're supposed to because now the anomalies are gonna start uh 
flowing in at a normal rate. Okay, so we have pails still there, clipboard, everything, all the towels, check. We have a toilet on your face. That does not seem to be a, a thing that you want. Um, the rug is still there. That was the anomalies we missed at the end of last time. Um, no floating tables, no missing pills, no light orbs, no missing crucifixes. We're totally fine. This smiley face is definitely going to change into something. Is the cross still there? This cr oh, hi. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> it's moving. What the? We get a new camera and all of the anomalies happen on the new cam. Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> he just sits back down. There's definitely something else missing too, though. Let's, uh, let's see. We have the clock uh, thing still there. The fan. Uh, the crucifix is rotating. Got it. Uh, no ghost orbs here. There's very little things that change in this room for some reason. Maybe I'm just missing them. Toilet. The paper. There's only two papers, right? Not three. Yeah, fine. It's a range. All right. What's the next anomaly going to be? Is it going to be in there again? There's a tiny wheelchair. Head bang to wake me up inside. And see the crucifix. Oh, it's behind my face. That's why you guys can't see it. Ah, uh, <laughs> the tiny bed. <laughs> So tiny bed. So squishy. Uh, nothing moved here. Uh, what's that? Is that a freaking... Is that just a gun? Looks like a weird, weird gun. What? The Para Anomaly Scanner Prototype 1.0. Excuse me? That seems significant for the story. <laughs> The para... How did you know that? The para anomaly scanner prototype 1.0. Oh, that's uh, an anomaly. They're getting interesting. I like I like that. I like that they're trying to tell a story. That's another thing that's... Like, another thing that we don't see enough in Observation Duty games is an attempt to build a universe or some kind of story. Because every single Observation Duty game is just like, here's some random shit with a bunch of naked people get jump scared which is fine but like it would be cool if there was also some kind of story or at least an attempt was made which i guess there is an attempt made in the mainline observation duty games because they have uh like secret endings right but still it could there could be far more skull the skull you guys are right thank you bye bye skull this looks like that room in uh sunny meadows wake up Wake me up. That's new. Wait. Wall writing. Is Are they talking to me? Wait a minute. You know, I am doing a bold, crazy prediction. You know what would be really cool? If the last camera on this map is a, a camera of us sitting in our own room. Like, uh, our character sitting at a computer looking at the cameras. Imagine the fucking mind blown <laughs> that would be sick i don't think it's gonna be that but imagine <laughs> phone phone is missing thank you thank you that's it that's that idea you get that for free dev feel free to use it also hi there yep have we, oh no that was last game that we saw you this is a pretty okay bed i mean you do get strapped down which doesn't seem very okay but it does look kind of comfy why is nothing happening? We lost only 10%. There's a big cup! Big cup. Up. Up anomaly. This doesn't look like a... This doesn't look soft. It looks kind of hard. Oh, paralyze! Paralyze. Paralyze, realize, real paralyze. What is the fucking... <laughs> anyway. Real eyes, real eyes, real lies. So deep, dude. No way. That's how it goes. They're 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 playing with us. The story is slowly unfolding. Uh, or uh, blah blah blah. Go short. Get out of here. Aura. Never mind. It's an aura, actually. Very important distinction. Where are the spiders? I've been promised spiders. Give me some spiders. The crucifix is missing. Easy peasy. We've only lost 10%. We're actually killing it. What if some... <laughs> I don't want to... <laughs> no, no toilet. Anom oh, what the hell? 
upside down the activities room oh i'm getting dizzy that is not okay i don't want to see that ever again <laughs> oh what the we're missing an obelisk oh no uh under right bed under right bed there was a towel here uh what is it there's the pill still here this back here bedpan no the bedpan's supposed to be there is it oh hi you're just standing there okay that's an easy one <laughs> just flies backwards but there's got to be something more there's no way that was all there is the rug the exit sign the fan the trash wait maybe it was all spooky scary skeletons was there something you said there was something under the bed a towel over here the pill bottle uh, there's a floating thing the pill bottle oh wait, wait, wait in this one ah you're right that was probably gone for a while okay so we're already at 21 anomalies reported which is as much as we got last time in the entire night and we're like basically halfway there so way more anomalies that's for sure okay i think we have recovered now uh trash bag never mind but we got that or garbage bag we got it there's a aura again got it the picture in the back is normal. Uh, <laughs> hi there. Skeleton. Spooky, scary, skip. Uh, asylum patient. What? That's not what I expected that would say. They freaking died out here. They've been left. Left in their isolation cells. Without food. He's really patient. Uh, hi there. There's Dr. Man. He's gonna jump scare. What? We're getting non-stop creepy as anomalies now? Ooh, hi there. <laughs> they all do the dramatic, like, slow and then jump scare. <laughs> Which I think... I think jump scares are good in an Observation Duty game. Hi there. And the reason why I feel like I am fairly confident that jump scare should be a part of observation duty is because observation duty six does not have any jump scares. And I gotta say, in my personal opinion, at least the current set of observation duty six, they're making a hard mode and adding new anomalies. The dev is hard at work to make it more like the previous ones. But observation duty six kind of feels like it's missing something. Because if you play the game, first of all, it's very easy, but that might be also because we're like with a large group of people. Uh, but then secondly, there is no anomalies that are like up in your face, like twitching or jump scaring you, like uh, observation duty one, two, three, four, five, like all of them have those creepy jump scare anomalies. And in six, he tried to get rid of them because I think for some reason, uh, jump scares often have a bad name. I mean, for a good reason. There's some games where jump scares feel just kind of cheap. I'm personally not offended by basically any jump scares. It's just when, like, that's the only thing that, um, like, the PNG jump scares in your face. Where, where I think the jump scares I don't like. I like almost all jump scares. The only jump scares I don't like are jump scared without tension if you if there's like no tension no atmosphere nothing that is like building up to something because the way to cash out tension is using jump scares which i think observation duty is a perfect example of a good oh there's a shadow guy right there um of an example where you're allowed in my opinion to cash out the tension by using a jump scare because the game is constantly like you're paying very close attention to a lot of small details and that leads to a lot of attention and then suddenly you get a jump scare which kind of like in a weird way yes it startles you but in a weird way it's also relieving because you're like oh okay we got the jump scare now we can focus on the game again uh in a strange way and you see that in observation duty six that it just feels like it feels empty it feels like something is missing now obviously dev is working on it so uh, and I still had fun, and I can't wait to see the hard mode. But as I said, I find it extremely annoying when a game is just like nothing. You're just walking around or something in a, like a completely normal environment, and suddenly you get a massive jump scare. Like that is like, what the hell? <laughs> um, there needs to be tension. Okay, so we got exactly 50% more anomalies than last time, and we didn't miss a single thing, so we got them all. 
Uh, oh, wait, we didn't miss anything. There, indeed, we didn't miss anything. Uh, we're slowly getting on the leaderboard. I don't think we're going to be getting there, but whatever. Uh, now we can do the final mode, which is insane mode. What's going to be the last cam? Let's see it. I need... Was I... There's no way I was correct. <laughs> My prediction? No. <laughs> I felt that, that was a pretty decent idea, though. It would be the biggest plot twist of all time. We have the human brain. We have two skulls. Okay, this one is definitely going to be... There's going to be some fucked up shit going on over here. So let's take... So there's actually a lot of creepy anomalies on this one already that, that aren't anomalies. We got a uh, saw on the ground with a bunch of blood. We have a lot of tools here. This could be a tricky one. Two skulls. Um, we got blood on there. Some formaldehyde brains, probably, or heads. Um, then we have the human brain. We have whatever that is, probably a container, just keeping something. We have wake up. That's already an anomaly. Now, remember, we're going to get four times anomalies here. So we're going to have to pay very close attention and be really quick. This could be the first time that we're actually going to die. So I'm going to need your help as much as possible over here in the chat room. This light is always here, right? Light's just supposed to be shining on the table. Yes, indeed. Um, the trash is already... There's a shadow! The trash is already gone. Everything is going crazy mode right away. Uh, trash is gone. Check, check. Any doctors? Okay. Yeah, there's just going to be no moment of, of chill here. It's just going to be constant chaos. We have the saw still thing down here. Uh, toilet is not on your face. You literally just spawned out of nowhere. The fan is missing. I didn't see the fan was missing, but maybe it is now. Uh, the fan is still there, but keep an eye on that because it could definitely go missing. That's the nice part with these games is that once you have um, learned the anomalies, it becomes 10 times easier because you... <laughs> the bed just freaking flew up into the sky. Um, you can just like pay attention to the stuff you know will change. You will still learn new anomalies, especially when you unlock a new camera, which nothing seems to be changing here. The jar is missing. The meds, wait, medicine is missing. What, what medicine? Jar? Jar missing, what jar? Where? Smaller jar, one of these? No, one of these? Up here, green jar? Skull, skull is missing. What, what, what's with the jar? I was... That's spiders. What's with the jar? Uh, is there a jar missing? There's pills still here. Everything looks fine. Um. I hear evil music. I don't see anything, though. We're totally fine. Uh, the rug is missing. Got it. Nice. That's always a, a tough one. For some reason, it just is in my blind spot. The peapot move? The peapot's still supposed to be there. This The big cup. All right, got it. Big cup. Um, Nothing. I'm so panicked, dude. Uh, this is still there. All the jars. I, we haven't lost any sanity, so I feel like we probably didn't miss anything too obvious for too long. Because the sanity drains super hard on this difficulty. Uh, the fan's still there. Okay, I think we got, we got a slight moment of calmness before the storm. If they're going to remove like a tiny part of this, I'm going to be fucked up. Exit sign, exit sign. Thank you very much. Gotta love when I move past the camp. There you got the toilet on your face. <laughs> That's the, the scariest anomaly of all time. Um, cross clock. The bed is not very thin. Table's not floating. Did we already get that one? I just, stuff's gonna go flying by. This is how you farm anomalies for the leaderboard, by the way. Something just disappeared right in my face. I'm glad I saw that. You just play on this mode over and over again. That must take so much grinding to get 6,000 anomalies. I'm assuming people aren't cheating since it's a small indie game. Like, why would you cheat? That's so dumb. Uh, but maybe. You never know. Stairface? Their face? What are you talking about? Why is it so dark? It's a horror game. Welcome to the genre. Um, I'm definitely being stupid. Skull in the entrance. Dude, why are you guys so good at this game? The fire hydrant, that's fine. Okay. I'm going this way now. Everything here is still fine. Pill. Does this pill bottle even ever disappear? I've been keeping an eye on that pill bottle for no reason. Two skulls. 
So it's one, four, two. Cross went missing. Cross went missing. I was looking at the bedpan that was still there. Which is... Hi there. <laughs> Isn't it fucked up? You're gonna jump scare me. The sound. Uh, isn't it kind of disgusting that they call it bedpan? You don't use that for cooking, if you know what I'm saying. But, uh, the... Like, it's not even... It doesn't even have to scare you for it to add... I don't know. I just... It just feels weird having a, uh... An observation duty game that doesn't at least have some, like, attempt at trying to scare you. Because obviously, even in Observation Duty 6, there's like... Like, the, the anomalies in Observation Duty 6 are like... Some shadow standing behind a door, and then you report it and it disappears. But yes, that definitely is a horror game. But it just like, I don't know, it feels like... There should be like a big payoff. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, this is fine, this is fine, this all looks good. Uh, phone is still there. Uh, balls? Or you're just saying balls. You guys just say balls to each other, I forgot. Uh, there's a doctor. Jump scare me. That's not that. Uh, see, I got, I, I am immune now. I am immune for the doctor. Is the doctor going to do something crazy on the, in the remaining cam? This is shaky doctor. What else? Bracelet? Bracelet removed? Uh, it moved. Yes. There's definitely going to be something else active as well. Hi there. That's the screenshot. It's gotta be another asylum patient. Asylum patient. He's not gone. He's just down the water. Okay. <laughs> um. Nothing. I mean, oh, hi there. Fire projection. I was talking about that earlier. Every time, dude. <laughs> Every time, the... Oh, hi, there he is again! What the fuck the doctor? Oh, he just... <laughs> when you think he just runs away, he still got... He still got to hit you with that... <laughs> That's so good. All right, anyway. <laughs> He's got the zoomies, dude. All right, something disappeared right in my face. You thought you could do that? He's freaking zooming, dude. Um, we fine. We haven't lost any sanity. We're get we're spotting so many anomalies that they're gonna run out of anomalies. What is on this one? Not nothing. The clock. The I keep saying clock. Telephone. Fan. Cross. There's a dude. Goodbye, dude. Artwork. Nice. They forgot to add spiders. I think they might have forgotten to add spiders to this level. Uh, and maybe they did, but I just haven't seen them. Face under the stairs. Yeah, that's a painting. It's, an, it's a painting. Ever seen a painting before? The uh, pillbox moved. No spiders, please. This is normal, right? It's just broken wall, totally. Uh, get that out of my face. Don't need any of that. This is where, where the, like the pacing is perfect on insanity mode. Like they got a really, it's so fast paced, but like in the perfect way where you're just constantly having to pay attention. They never changed this, right? They never changed the wording on this. No skeleton sitting back there. Syringe is always there. Help. Watch the camera. Say anything else down there? Just says they left me. That's all it says. Um, <clears throat> nothing is happening for way too long. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh wait, wait, wait. what? What is the music random? I thought the music was because we were beating the game, but we're not even close. Uh, the chair, chair in the lobby is. Oh yeah, what are you doing over here? How did I not see that? <laughs> Jeez, for a race chair. Nice. Uh, that's doing. I think they just like the the anomalies in this game show up in a weird way. Like they, sp they like sometimes spawn together. Table. 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 Floating. Oh, the floating table, of course. 
side table. Just one side table. Also, this fucking chair every time. The imposter chair. Oh, wait, what? Still something? Um, the saw here, but that can't have been there for long, right? It must be something else, or was it literally just that? Maybe the cross, uh, the floating, this guy. All right. <laughs> it just takes a little while. This, wait a minute. Is what's going on here? Like people that are watching the anomalies like me sometimes go insane and then they get sent to this. Is that what's going on? Am I like observing my own future? It slowly drives you mad. That's why you lose your sanity. That's why you don't. If you lose your sanity, you get sent to the. Oh my God. Wait, is there a chair missing? Yes, got it. There's a gun. The Paragon. Para Anomaly Scanner Prototype 1.0. Very important. The rug's still there. I mean, we're totally doing fine. We're at 4 a.m. We still got eight. We could actually, we could do shuffle mode with these. Wait. Oh, hi there. Well, you know what we could do? We could do custom difficulty with all of the most terrifying cameras from all of the, hi for the jump scare, from all of the maps. Because like, as you see right here, the, um, the, so you start with easy difficulty, which is just all normal cameras. And then when you get the medium, hard, hard insanity, you unlock crazier and crazier cameras. With custom mode, you could just combine all the craziest ones and then get the wildest anomalies. I don't know what else you can tweak with the custom mode. You can probably just set whatever setting you... Um, thought I saw something move up there. Nope, nothing. I'll have to test that out. No oh, spiders, man. Where are my spiders at? Those are supposed to be in jars. No, they're they're supposed to be there. Ah, uh, this is open. <laughs> Love how they build an animation for all those things in case you were just gonna stare at it. That's a range. Nice. I'm crazy with it. Lower shelf. Oh, there's blood. Uh, there's supposed to be blood there. That's normal. Five, one more, or almost a five, one hour. On the bed? On the bed what? On the bed looks fine. Uh, the pill, the pills can disappear. I was right. I have been looking at that for some reason after all. All of these tools. What even is this tool, dude? You see the shit? What is that? That looks not healthy. Why is that normal? Don't question it. Just go roll with it. Lobotomy pick. What is a lobotomy spike? That is one of the most terrifying things I've heard. Lobotomy spike. You're just freaking doctor in the basement. Doctor in the basement. Get ready for jump scare. <laughs> he makes funny noise. Dr. Go Brewer, if you know what I'm saying. Something was here. Yeah, the book. Up the eye to the brain. Well, what happens with your eyeball? You just take out your eyeball and put it back later. It's like disassemble you like a robot. It were upside down. They move it to the side. Oh, that is just that's that's a nice visual. Nona, Denona, thank you for the 14. Can't believe that was. I mean, I guess. I guess, like, it makes sense that they do science on the human brain. But it's kind of insane. Wait. Oh, no, it's still there. Wait, was this something? Skull on the table? There's a skull right there. An extra skull? In here as well? No. The, the, the phone is missing, though. Okay, the fan's still there. Nice. Did you never get any moment of peace in this? You got 41 anomalies, which should be what we end up with. So maybe we're gonna see if only one or two more. Come on. Oh, the fan. Nice, we got 42. That's probably gonna be it. We're safe. We still got 80%. That was actually clean as hell. 
Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure on the other maps we usually fail. Did we miss anything? 42. We missed nothing. Let's go. Yeah, 72 an or 71 anomalies total, but you're not going to see all of those. All righty. Well, that was easy. We did that. Now, so that was Asylum on Insanity. Obviously, we can also play on Lights Out mode, which makes um, your curse of the, the light, the flashlight, but you don't get anything more from that. What I want to try is this. Let's see. Um, if we combine... How do we do this? How does the custom mode work? Insane plus 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 mode. And then we'll do... Uh, can I do... quite? Wait, huh? I want to combine all these creepy cameras. Oh, they're, they're sorted like this. Okay, I see. We have padded cell, check. We're gonna do operation room, check. Max security. The cave entrance, yes. Four, five, six, seven, eight cameras. So something like this. So we have Emily, which is the anomaly from the, or the, it looks like Lisa from Phasmo. Uh, we'll do the basement. We have a cabin as well as the Wendigo cave. We have the max security prison cell. We got the padded cell as well as the operation room. Um, and then we just combine all of that on insane plus 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 mode and probably immediately die. Let's see it. <laughs> How many anomalies is this going to be? Oh my God. <laughs> 89. All right. That is actually okay. So now we have, we have made our own... Our own difficulty. Yeah. Oh God, it got, it's lagging, it's lagging, help. It's just loading. Okay, so this is the Wendigo cave. We need to pay attention to all of these things though, right away. We have three, three, check. Oh no, it's loading the different cameras. Um, We have cup, cup, something there. Uh, oh boy, all of these were, I haven't seen these in a while. What the fuck? We got kit, uh, pictures of ki kittens. We got uh toy, check. Ghost orbs falling from the ceiling. We got this. Do we have something over there as well? Nope. Uh, then we have basement, mannequin, barrel, other thing. Check. And then we're back at the padded cell. Okay. We're definitely going to suck because the anomaly spawn rate is going to be like 10 billion here. We have an axe, which I think is supposed to be there. Yes. We got two things. We got footsteps. Are those supposed to be there? The book is already missing. Wait. No pad missing. Wait, what? Oh, hi there. There's Lisa. Lisa's already here. <laughs> hi there. You gonna jump scare me? Oh, you're just gonna run away? All right, bye. Uh, the the notepad is missing. Oh my god, the camera anomaly. Notepad is missing here, dude. This is fucked. There's too many anomalies. Uh, what else? This is fine. We're definitely gonna die. This is where we perish. This is still there. The milk is still there. All these things. Check. Nothing like hiding in the shadows. The skull. The pillow just moved. I'm so glad I saw that. Book is missing. Which book? The book is still there. I think we're fine. Uh, this book. There's always ghost herbs. This. The, this move from over there, right? Nope. That's just supposed to be like that. Never mind. We need to pay attention to the carpets as well. Uh, the roof broken in the library is normal. The axe. Uh, there's no parts missing here. Oh, I am fucked, man. This is the book missing here, right here. This is complete panic mode. We are fine. Check, check. In front, I'm just looking at. Sh is there a shadow somewhere? I need, I need chat help for sure. There's something missing. There was something right there. Yes, the clipboard. Man, all the anomalies are isolated on our on our old cameras. We are fucked. I think we'll be fine. We we got the hive mind. This thing, we need to pay attention to that. Uh. The light is supposed to be broken in the library, by the way. The mannequin moved, just like Phasmo. Go back. It'll help us find the ghost room. The... Was there something here? No. Sure there was something. This light's supposed to be on, by the way. If that ever turns off, let me know. Because that's going to be an anomaly. Anomalies. This is interesting. Oh, I hear breathing. Uh, the lights turned off. Don't do that, please. This with lights off mode, you'd be actually insane. Why would you do that to yourself? There's symbols. No, the symbols are normal. You guys need to rewire your brain for the new map because you guys haven't seen this in a while. This is normal. This is all normal. The skull's normal. This is normal. Um, we need to reset. We need to click the reset button on the brain. Uh, 
uh tool there oh just the way the way it's supposed to be there's a rotating bedroom pillow there's a binocular missing i'll do the, i have to do everything myself pillow missing pillow missing pillow missing pillow missing is there ever a pillow here hello uh well axe <laughs> That's one. Thank you. Um, don't think the the pillow right there. I'm spotting too fast. I'm insane. He's insane with it. Uh, I feel like it looks empty, but no, it's just supposed to look empty. The gun, the para anomaly spotter, para anomaly scanner, prototype 1.0. I need to remember that. It's gonna be on the test. Skull's not looking at me. How's the house buying going? I already have a house. Uh, it's mine now. Papers are signed, everything. I mean, it was signed like a, like a week ago. I didn't announce. I, I don't know. It's weird when stuff happens in my real life. That's obviously a big deal. I, I, I guess I could announce it, but it just feels weird. <laughs> Library? Loading chair? This? You guys are insane. See, that's why I need you guys. Because I would never be able to see that myself. Um, I am moving. It's going to take forever before I move. Because not only do I... What the fuck? I just got spun right round, right round when you... What the hell? <laughs> Dude. I just got slapped in the face like I was, like I was a huge man. But yeah, I get the keys in December and I need to buy furniture. Oh, it's so much furniture. I'm going to have to... It's going to be so annoying to have to buy furniture before I actually have the house. I mean, I can ask the people to take measurements, obviously. Uh, but... Because furniture... Like, can't they just deliver it faster? Like, why Why does furniture take so long to deliver? Like, I, I get it because it needs to be custom built every single time. But... Can't they just make an exception? <laughs> Can't they just be nice? Please? That shit's too fucking slow. It takes like two months to get a couch. Fucking annoying. I don't have that much time. Hi, doctor. Jump scare. This is... Taking his time. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're double teaming, dude. What the hell? Emily's room? Bench? The fucking... No, I think this is fine. We're actually, we haven't lost any sanity somehow. I don't know how I've done it. I'm utterly insane. I'm cracked. Um... Yeah, I mean, you can get some stuff that's not... Oh, the milk jar's missing. Need I need some milk. Um... You can obviously get some stuff just straight from the ikea or something but like if you want it in a different color or something they have to like make it or purchase it it takes forever very annoying uh did this chair change completely oh uh, paralyzed paralyzed is there anything else um the skulls no skulls there this is still there. Everything is fine. Oh. Ikea stereotype much? What? What's wrong with Ikea? Ikea is a totally valid store to get furniture. Wasn't there something on the end of the bed? Was there? Uh, what the fuck? I'm gonna slap the camera too hard to get furniture and meatballs. I have never gotten IKEA meatballs. Maybe I'll finally get my chance to do it while buying my new furniture. <laughs> I mean, I'm. Uh, wait. Is there someone? No. I thought there was some spiders underneath there. How have we not seen any fucking spiders? Did I accident? No, I didn't disable that right because we're still seeing shadows. There's a big thing. Ikea furniture lasts max one year. My brother in Christ. 
You got some of the shittiest furniture of all time, then? Shit's just made out of wood. Like, the wood doesn't disintegrate <laughs> when you... Like, oh, there's spiders! <laughs> there you go. Like, are you gonna jump scare me? Oh, you're just gonna leave. You're just gonna bounce, get out of there. I was expecting it would jump the camera there. After that much buildup, but no, it just left. It clearly built it wrong. I mean, obvi um, obviously you can get bad furniture. Uh, but it is not the norm. That actually gets me so dizzy every time. What the fuck? <laughs> like, it's not like... Oh, come on. Stop spinning me around. I'm gonna get... I wanna puke. <laughs> is the axe missing? Um... It's not like Wish.com or something where you know you're getting scammed. <clears throat> I guess your vertigo. Any... Is it, like, common to be carsick? Because I am extremely carsick. And I feel like most people I know are not carsick. Which I am like, how? How are you not carsick? That shit is like... It's like built the fuck with your brain. If you're not driving the car yourself or looking at the road, it I get sick. Completely sick. Uh, hi there, we got the psycho. <laughs> Goodbye. It's psycho, guys. Psycho cameo. You build tolerance? No. <laughs> I don't. I mean, you get older, at which point you slightly get it less. Like, as a kid, it was terrible. Like, as a kid, basically every car trip, I had to throw up after it. Like, if the car trip is longer than an hour, not it doesn't matter how much I look at the road, I have to throw up. Shadow? Shadow? But that's not the case anymore. Uh... But it was really bad previously. And we did, like, the way we went on vacation was mostly with the car going to, like, France and stuff. But it was just, like, uh, an accepted reality. But it's not that big of a problem anymore. Because I just drive the car now and then you don't get car sick. <laughs> That's a life hack. Just learn how to drive forehead. Magazine. Yeah, I got it. This. Oh, big milk! Huge milk. It's actually insane. I have somehow done this first try. I am absolutely cracked. Ah, uh, nice try. Big milk. We need to keep an eye on that cup as well. When is grandma gonna show up? I wanna see grandma. I used to drink milk. I don't know if that's like a my mom thing or if it's like a more widespread thing, but my mom always used to say you gotta drink warm milk before bed so you go to sleep faster, which I'm pretty sure is just complete bullshit. <laughs> but I used to do that. But I don't know if it's actually true. <laughs> that's pretty common. Just, I mean, placebos are, are valid. Uh, oh my god, hi there. Placebos are, like, totally valid ways of getting an effect out of something. Like, if you... Because sleep is, like, a big mental, mental thing, right? Where a lot of people just psych themselves out so much that they can't sleep, which I was definitely one of those people. So having a placebo... Uh to let make you psych yourself out less definitely helps we are insane i'm insane i mean <laughs> you're not doing anything never mind you guys you guys helped me out with that one anomaly the one chair great job guys 
I'll never forget it. Skull? All right, never mind. You guys are cracked. Wait, there's a missing skull. I thought it was this skull. Absolutely cracked. I, I think I still... I, I hope this still counts as getting anomaly points, by the way. Because then you... I mean, this is kind of busted. Because this means with custom mode, you can create your own camera or your own camera setup that you have just absolutely mastered but i guess you could just play the same map over and over again right hi skull don't look at me like that please and then you just farm the shit out of that can you create like a one cam or like a two camera or something like i'm assuming you have to select a certain amount oh what the fuck hat and cabin is gone thank you See, now we're cooking. Oh, well, that one I couldn't miss. Is, the, the cameras can't be missing entirely. It's not like uh, observation duty where you have camera malfunctions like that. Back, thank you for the prime. I hear sounds in here, but nothing. Uh, we're upside down. I'm not looking. I'm not looking at it. I can't. I'm going to get dizzy. Wait, wait, we made it. Easy peasy, 42 and not. It's so consistent, like to the point where it probably there's no randomness. I have anomaly dust used for researching. My mouse is now anomaly dust. Anomalies missed none. I'm insane. Uh, what the, I changed my mouse. <laughs> my mouse is now <laughs> anomaly dust used for researching. Alrighty, I found a bug. I am not even close to being on the leaderboard, dude. These people are insane. I wish there was like uh, your own rank though. Like it sucks that only the top 10 is shown and it doesn't give you at least like a, an idea of what your rank is. Also coming soon, more achievements. Are there achievements in this game? Wait, let's see. There are... Oh, I have all the achievements. There is a thousand anomaly achievements. 8.6% of players have this achievement. That's actually a lot of people. 40% of people beat it on insane mode. Alrighty. Well, anyway, uh, anomaly dust used for researching is going to be forever my mouse. But I think that's what we're going to call it for this episode. A pair eyes is amazing. I can't wait to see more. I can't wait to eventually see the story mode that they were planning on adding or at least some kind... Like... It's, you can clearly see it. In the grandma map, there's not that much story being told, but that last map with the, like, writing on the wall, like, uh, I, I like to see more of that because that really adds to the world. Uh, and if you want to grind it out, you got a lot of work to do to get on the leaderboard. Lotus69 over here with a 2,000 anomaly lead. Absolutely insane. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join, the lovely game is here in chat. You can join us over at twitch.tv slash and subscribe. Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.